Hello folks, <clears throat> I thought I'd just uploaded a video to YouTube. <laughs> Went through the whole process, said video rejected or whatever, too long. So I'm going to have to tell the whole story again. Uh, leaving out the dead bits uh, or talk twice as quick <sighs> a year ago a very nice man called Richard brought some RM guitars telecasters into Chandler's really nice guitars uh, parts parts casters you know put together but well put together, well matched necks and bodies, really lively, vibrant, playable guitars. And they came into the shop at, to sell at about two grand, which proved a little rich for people's tastes. Obviously, no fender on the headstock, and you know people weren't weren't alive to the possibilities of them. Um, and he's a flexible man, and 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 we we put the price down to I think. 1295 or 1195 to sell. Um, did I say he bought four into the country, kept one for himself, put three in, three tallies in the shop. Um, I had a chat and, and bought the purple one with the purple headstock face at about, you know, kind of two thirds of the asking price, basically the cost price. Um, my friend Gareth bought a beautiful Daphne Blue 62 custom style, so double bound Daphne Blue with a matching a headstock face. Um, but I've been I've been chasing a, a telly for a while. I had a the last telly that I loved that I bought and loved was the first edition road worn that I had six, seven years ago. And I had to sell that. And then I was in a position where I could buy a, a second hand road worn, which was great, but it had been fret dressed within an inch of its life. And I think it had lollers in it or fralins or something. And it just it didn't, and it changed the color, found it changed the color, which was really irksome. So that didn't, didn't feel particularly tellyish. Um, and I bought the, um, Wilco Johnson signature telly, the Mexican telly, the black one. Uh, and that really did feel telly-ish. So that kind of took over from the road wall, which went. And then the purple one did the deal with the money on the purple one. And that, you know, that is the best telly I've played for ages. But I was still wanting a, uh, a maple neck telly. And this is the last of the RM guitars tellies. And I'd sort of avoided it because, I don't know really. Um, the colour's a bit weird. The relicking on the neck is, is, um, <laughs> terrible, frankly. <laughs> Although I think that Rod Miller is a bit of a, a, a bit mischievous, I think um, because he likes to put like sixties appointments, like flat top knobs and butterflies, onto obviously fifties style guitars, and this, the obviously sixties style purple one has got dome knobs, and I think he would probably say, well, if you want the neck worn, um, play it.
too long last time because basically I love this guitar the purple telly is still my favorite and it's it might be the best telecaster I've ever played but this is super close and I'm thrilled to own them both I really am This is how videos overrun. Listen, RM Guitars 50 style telly. Plays like a dream. Duncan Broadcaster pickups. Love it.
a uh, bit disjointed, a bit nonsensical really. But... but I must stop because I don't want to be uploading another video and have, have YouTube say, too long, go away. Hey look, RM Guitars Telly. Um, I think I'm up to strength guitars wise now. Two nice Les Pauls, standard gold top. Two nice Stratocasters, had those for years, my old one. And the Relic. Two nice tellies. And a couple of odds and ends. I'm done for a while. I'm a happy boy. I'll see you all soon. Happy birthday, Bonita. And anybody else's birthday who it is today. All right. You take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.